guys so today I'm gonna talk about an interesting topic and hope you guys are prepared for this watch out for up okay so this is going to be a very interesting YouTube today and people have asked me questions about this and I shy away from it but I am going to give everybody the whole 411 about this specific event. But let me pour up real fast. This is to all my fallen homies, all the fallen soldiers who lost their lives in battle. You're forever honored in our memories. Okay. So. Okay. All right. So everybody knows I attended IMTA. Everyone knows that I was just like so excited about this opportunity. This opportunity presented itself to me and I, w I didn't think I was like prepared for like all of that at that point in time, but I got prepared, you know, I got prepared. I felt so confident that, you know, something great was going to come out of this and okay. <laughs> all right. So I attended IMTA LA 2020, um, with my um mother agency um i've i've um i've done many competitions i've done the modeling two modeling competitions and mostly acting and what i really wanted to go for what my heart was really set on was going for modeling but i fit more in the talent spectrum like I guess it's how I present myself and how I talk and how just how my presence is it was more so that they wanted me to do um, acting and they wanted me to have like a couple you know modeling competitions as well actually I just signed up for those I wasn't like um, push for those but that's really what I really wanted to go for okay so I did the acting and it was like the first day I got there um I want to say the first official day um not the coming to LA but the first like official day where competitions started and you know everything was just you know first day was pretty good I felt confident that um you know casting directors i felt like some casting directors they were not really paying me any attention really but <laughs> i had done my screen tests i've done my improv the following day and it was cold reads that day too and i had gotten someone's attention from um and we um we chatted my last day when i was there on friday and i was like wow this seemed like it's such a great opportunity i also had another agency who wanted to work with me as well um but i only heard back like during callbacks only heard back from um i want to say this was such an amazing experience for me. It was just so, I didn't really get to enjoy it that much because it was just so much like negativity around me. And it was, I don't wanna say it was throwing me off my game because I definitely um, know how to just switch that like from what's happening in my real life and acting, I can just switch that like with no problem at all. But. It was just so much negativity around me people that I let me first by saying this 
IMTA, it is not a scam. People say that because, you know, they weren't picked, they weren't um, seen by a casting director, um, they weren't signed what they originally wanted to go for, but IMTA is definitely real. Um, most, well, actually, every person that I was cool with during the process of getting prepared for IMTA, they were all signed. They were all signed. Unfortunately for me, I was not signed. And if you look at my profile, you'll look, you'll see, honestly, I took off IMTA because it was, it was okay. I mean, it was a great experience. It was my first time going to LA. It was my first time ever being in like, um, in front of casting directors and having like a chance to showcase my talents and everything. But IMTA is definitely what it is and it's what it's described as. You're competing against actors, models, all for a chance to be um, signed potentially by major modeling agencies and major casting um, agencies as well. Um, for talent slash acting, you know. But if you look on my Instagram and everything, you don't see anything underneath that. Like, you don't see anybody that I'm signed with. You don't see anybody other than Pro Model and Talent, my modeling, my mother agency. And that's for a very good reason. Is because I wasn't signed for IMTA. I was not picked up. I did everything that I thought was so right and I did everything so well but unfortunately I wasn't signed and I don't really know the reason because I have submitted some um, casting tapes to agencies and everything and I was told that they were going to go out to different agencies as well not just the one not just the city but it was going to be sent to others as well but for some reason unfortunately I was not signed I wasn't picked up from IMTA the only good thing that came out of going to IMTA was the fact that I finally <laughs> went out west like one of my goals were to go out west and see just everything out there and I've achieved that I met some amazing people but unfortunately I don't really keep up with anybody um, now unfortunately I don't and it's really because like personalities were shown during LA that I just not a fan of so I decided that I just wanted to cut ties with certain people um, but um, it was the people I've met it was the having a chance to go to um, California and being in LA um, but Unfortunately for me, I wasn't one of the people who were picked up and honestly, I felt like even though it was a great experience that I don't want to, I would never say to anybody, don't do it. Um, but for me personally, I felt like that money could have went for me paying off all my, um, my payments for my car and like my car could be like completely paid off right now and I just wish that my money would have went there instead of here but I'd still I'd still be looking like oh my gosh what if you know so I can't really say that I regret it but knowing the outcome now it's like dang well, that money could have went towards me paying my car off and everything, but you know things happen for a reason and Just 
I want to wish everybody um, from Pro Model and Talent who were signed, you were awesome. I saw everybody's talents. I saw, I knew everybody, I just had a feeling that certain people were going to get signed and everything. And I was just so ecstatic, well, excited about people getting signed for um pro model and talent and i mean from pro model and talent and I, I was just okay like you guys are stars and i even said to people like even before our competition started i was like please remember me when you become famous <laughs> and yeah unfortunately it wasn't me who was assigned by anybody but not gonna. That's not saying that I wouldn't do it again. I don't think I would, honestly. But mm, it's up in the air. But um, there were a few things that came out of it. I don't. I didn't reach my goal for doing that. I really wanted to get signed and have like. Um, international or nationwide opportunities for myself and I didn't quite get that so yeah it does suck a lot I don't believe that I've ever cried about it it was just like okay like what my mother agency told me is the reality of going to IMTA is like you're going to hear no a lot and I'm sure that just like resonated with me so bad because honestly I was doubting that I was going to actually get signed honestly I doubted that I know it wasn't a good thing but I was just like just seeing you know people get pulled left and right and people going to private meetings and I'm just like, okay, confidence. My confidence was like this. When I got to um, IMTA, my confidence was up here. Cause I'm like, I got all these skills. I'm quick with it. I am special. I'm my own unique person and I don't ever try to be something that I'm not. So my confidence was up here. Knowing my skills, knowing my abilities, my confidence was up here. Um, but throughout the course of the week, my confidence, like this is the bottom. This is the top, this is the bottom. My confidence was like down there, honestly. And I didn't want to rub off on anybody. I didn't really just want to express like any kind of feelings or anything about it but honestly I didn't feel it was about like the first day first day right here second day right here third day uh, then I just didn't feel like I was getting any wow or anything like I wasn't getting any like accolades or anything like I wasn't getting pulled over for private meetings I was I was pulled over in like the group meetings like the whole group where everybody wanted to see everybody in my um, pro model and talent like group and everything I was pulled to like the group private meetings so it was my chance to wow certain people and it was this one casting director that my mother agency they really said that you really want to get signed with this um, casting director because they will definitely give you work <laughs> like they would definitely work you and they'll put you out to like so many auditions and everything so I was just like okay cool so we had our private meeting with that man um, I felt like when I did my commercial, when I did my commercial, it was flawless. I even added a little, um, just a little personality to it. And I noticed 
that other people who were just like, yeah, I want you. Yeah, I want you. Yeah, I want you. Um, they really didn't like do as much as I did, but I was just being me. This is me. I like to dance. I like to just be goofy. I like to just show my um, personality that way. But unfortunately, um, yeah, I wasn't signed and no shade to like anyone, but there were certain people who did mess up like bad. <laughs> But they were signed by him and I felt like I came off as like really, really, really confident. Even though I really know myself, I know my abilities, I know what I want and I'm not, a I'm not afraid of like anything, you know. So it was just like, a, you know, if you want me, you want me. If you don't, you don't kind of thing. It was... One where we um, had to say if we had a passport, our name, our age, and do our commercial and everything. I even personalized it. I was like, <laughs> one second. I was like, hi, my name is Simona and I have a passport right here. Do you want to see my photo? <laughs> Um, I, I didn't do it like that, though. <laughs> I was just like, I even have a passport right here. And, um, said my age and, um, did my commercial. But unfortunately for even that casting director, I wasn't picked up. But I just really wanted to just show my personality. It was not, it was not me trying to be over the top or trying to be overly confident. He even said that he really liked my commercial and everything. But my honest opinion is that I wasn't really one of the highly pushed, highly pro, um, highly promoted people to get signed i don't feel like that and that's just like my gut feeling like when we had these private meetings i didn't feel like i didn't really feel like i don't want to say too much but i didn't really feel like i was really like pushed like yes you want this girl like she's great kind of thing but <sighs> yeah unfortunately I mean that's just the reality like they probably didn't see my passion I had for this even though when I was going to go to work back on a rig like I we would have like weekly meetings for practice to prepare for IMTA and I would have to go away like four months. I mean, not four months. Gosh. Four weeks, rather. I would have to go away for four weeks to go to Louisiana, leave Ohio where everything is, or where we're, I live in Ohio, leave everything and go to New Orleans and um, go back to working on a rig and everything but i stayed on top of my game when i came back from the boat they were like simona do you have your commercial remember memorized and i'm like yes do you have your monologue remember memorized i'm like a yes <laughs> so when i wait let me do that again so um when i had when we were doing our practice our weekly practice um even though i wasn't there i always kept myself up you know i was practicing i was practicing in the mirror every day and when my casting well when my directors asked me um do you have your commercial and monologue memorized i'm like yes i do <laughs> But I did, and I kept myself prepared for anything when I returned back home. But unfortunately, I had to take, like, 
all those weeks away um, from practice to um, go work on a rig, but the rig job was what really helped me get to that point, you know? So, can't really be mad about that, but... Um, but I did wear, win some but I did win some medals. Um, I, I wasn't placed in the top three of any category that I'm about to name, but I still got some. Um, this is basically stating that I placed um, in the top five of each category that I'm about to name, but this is for my theatrical headshot. This one is for my cold read. I did a wonderful job with my cold read and unfortunately, I was I still, like I wasn't signed at all. But um, in this one, was for my commercial print. Um, I did commercial print. It was one of my competitions for modeling that I signed up for. And this was for my commercial print. And I am so glad that I signed up for that. But still, it was like, I'm still in this position that I'm in right now kind of thing. So... Yeah, that's the reality of going to IMTA is that you may come fully prepared, but um, reality is you may or may not get signed. And that was definitely my goal. I honestly, competitions, these competitions, like, I really didn't really care too much for, I wanted to get signed like one of my honestly I wanted to get signed by Wilhelmina models like that was my goal for going to IMTA is to get signed by Wilhelmina models and um we did have a zoom meeting um with Wilhelmina models and still we're hearing we're still hearing for um any Thing from him so I still have my finger fingers crossed everything crossed I honestly my toes my fingers my legs my arms <laughs> I have everything crossed for that because that's really what I wanted to go to IMTA for and if that opportunity presents itself to me to get signed I would definitely just feel like IMTA was definitely worth it, even though I wasn't picked up at IMTA, but that's what I wanted to go for kind of thing. So, yeah. But, yeah, you win some, you lose some. I'm still going to um, post on YouTube, on Instagram and everything. I have big plans for myself and... It just, maybe it wasn't for me, maybe it is, and I need to push harder, you know? So, I really, I'm just really just living life right now. So, I'm just enjoying every moment right now. So, yeah. It's all good right now, so. <laughs> if only, though. But, I'm speechless, honestly. <laughs> okay. Like, subscribe, share. Um, I know that this, this was one of the videos that would definitely get, like, much traffic. Um because it is featuring IMTA and everything. And yeah, people wanna know if it's a scam. It's not a scam. 
all those reviews that you see online are not true they're i mean i won't say they're not true but people have it's a scam just because they were in the position that i am in but it's not a scam at all but yeah take it from an old pro <laughs> all right bye bye wait how should i end it how should i end my videos <laughs> oh no but yeah i think it was fun I appreciated the opportunity to be in front of so many people and honestly this whole the only positive like thing on a personal level from IMTA was the fact that I got over like so many fears of like public speaking public speaking and being in front of people I feel like I definitely you know I'm done like, that's no longer something that will ever hold me back from anything. Um, that's something that won't hold me back. It's like public speaking. Because, like, I, I remember in high school, I was literally trembling. But I just got so comfortable being in front of people, being in front of the camera and all that. So, that was one thing that came out of going to IMTA and practicing for it. Um... But yeah. Well, everyone have a great night. Continue to stay blessed. Drink a lot of water. <laughs> like, subscribe, share, dot com. <laughs>